everybody, it's Larry, and welcome to today's video. Uh, this is number three for this week for the intermediate, six overall. Uh, this is the Friday video, but today's Thursday, so why is that? Well, anytime we find something special and it's brand new, we want to bring it to you as soon as possible. So we don't want to just have it sit and scheduled and, and come out on the regularly scheduled. If it's something that's really neat and you need to see it, we're going to bring it to you just as soon as we can. So thank you to Daniel Peterson in the Facebook group for noticing this. If you go and look at some of the videos we just posted, uh, you can see that we went to Family Tree, came down to the Consistency Checker, which is a very recent video. This was not there. The colorized photos did not exist. So now here on the main page, you can click upload now or you can come up to the menu and click colorized photos. I'm going to recommend always going from the menu because who knows with the main page if it's going to change or not. So here we go. This is the example photo they have. It says colorizing your heritage. So this is a black and white photo. And all of us that are doing genealogy, we've got photos like this. You know, sometimes they were just bad photos. And uh, sometimes that was the film we bought. Because remember in the old days when we actually bought film, <laughs> you had a choice, black and white or color. And before there was that option, it was black and white. <laughs> and that's all you could get. So, you know, you had the, the black and white photos. And you drop it up in here and it colorizes this. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So there's, it's a, just a black and white photo, and this is what you get by uploading it. Well, what do you need to do to upload it? Well, you can go right here and click Upload Photo, pick your photo like you normally would, or this interface is so easy, all you need to do is drag and drop. It requires nothing more, so you just take a picture that you want, and you just drag it from off the screen. See how I'm dragging it in? Drag it, you know, you can see it over on the left with the mouse cursor. Drag it right into there, into that big area that's highlighted. Let go and it uploads the photo automatically. It gets that photo and now it's colorizing it automatically. All we did was drag it and drop it right onto here. So here it is, the colorization. There's the original and look particularly around the face. You know, it's kind of dark like the rest of the picture. So now the colorized version, the white gets cleaner. We've got some real skin tones in the face. We have a little bit more detail in here not a bad job. I mean, you got to remember, this is you know being done automatically. Is it as good as perhaps a professional job would be? Um, no, I mean, it's not because a professional will go zone by zone. So let's look at uh, one that uh, was done with some more advanced techniques. So, you know, when you do this automatically through MyHeritage, it takes the entire photo and just does it. If you do one and you're doing it uh, professionally see right here see the shoes you see a, a black the black here looks together you got the blue in there and the shirt the wood stays you know a wood color you get the leather that comes out with the leather and the black handles okay so but this you know for dragging and dropping is pretty darn good and some of them I mean they're <laughs> they're they're beyond good they're just absolutely exceptional and uh, let's look at, at some of those so uh, we're going to pull an old photo, and it's going to be one of my family favorites. It's four generations of Basie. This is my family number one, with dad number one is the baby, and his father, and grandfather, and great-grandfather, which add one more great to me, so that had been my second great. So look at that. I mean, this is a black and white photo. Uh, I wish it didn't kind of do that in the middle. I, it does it to let you know it's done, but it kind of, kind of ruins the whole surprise. Look at this. Look at how nice this looks. I mean, the color tones on the hat, the jacket, those are very realistic colors. The pantsuit, the shoes, the grass, even the wood for the, the fence, you know, the jacket here, the jacket. That, that's a really nice picture considering, you can see right here, it was taken directly into the sunlight, you know, and to colorize that tree and get that after that, that's really, really nice. Now. Sometimes the best way to tell how well it's doing is to make a picture be upside down because you know you're used to looking at it and right here you get enamored with what you see your brain picks up on the picture so I'm going to drag in my father number one dad number one his senior picture upside down this way we're really going to focus more on the colorization than looking at the photo because the photo is going to be kind of obnoxious <laughs> upside down so here we go look at this so here is the photo in your photo and this is it colorizing it automatically look at the the eyes look at the hair you know 
really, really nice what it does. So I wonder what it would do uh, for a regular photo. Well, let's bring some in. And like I said, it, it does a real good job. It's not perfect, but it's not meant to be perfect. Uh, it's meant to, you know, serve a function. So, and it does it very, very well. So when we do a few more photos, we can see exactly what it's doing. Look how clear this gets. So here it is. This is a 60s photo. And you can, you can if you remember, for those of you who are alive in the 60s, and I think a lot of you were, like I was, uh, how all the film seemed to be more yellow. <laughs> I think it was the way that it was processed. But look at it. We're going to start with the watch and the hands. Look at the face there. Look how clear that is. That is... I mean, that's good even by some modern standards. Come in here. Now, watch what happens as we go over here. It almost kind of erases the cat. Here, we got a nice, you know, yellowish cat because, you know, the photos were yellow, and so it really accented the yellow of the cat. And once we applied that filter and filtered out that yellow, <laughs> it washed the cat out because that was its natural color. So it does have, you know, some hang-ups, but look at the people in this photo, how much better that looks clearing that up you know even the, the house curtains that just looks a whole lot better folks it really does one more uh, like i said once you start doing this you're going to want to play with a whole lot of photos for free you get about five so you can you know you can trial account it sign on and do about five so if you want to like just pick your five that you really want to do you could do that so here's the original this one actually has color but it's going to show you what it's doing with the filters. So as we come through here, okay, kind of washing it out, you know, and when it applies the filters, it's also cleaning up noise as it goes along. But see what it does to her pretty uh, pink flower shirt? Turns it into kind of a green monochrome. Same thing with his bright red and pink pants and uh, the lime green, uh, you know, light lime green, citrus green that she had. And for all of us that were alive back then, we know that this was actually the real color. So uh, it does, you know, cut out some noise. You know, it cut out the red, replaced the red with more of a brown filter. Okay. So there's that. And uh, let's, let's get uh, one more here. Uh, let's find uh, my grandmother and let's just drag her, you know, photos in there too. So this is her original photo. And it's very washed out and it's going to look a little better in here just simply because, uh, you know, when it drops it in, it does a little bit of natural cleaning up. But you can see that photo. That's not a very flattering photo. And, uh, you know, the colors, this is the original. And I can say on the original, it's not quite this bright, but you know, it's all washed out. You can see the, the way the light was, the camera, and there's some rips in the paper. You know, the rips still show up up here. And then this is the, the colorization. Now, this is interesting right here. It brings in the reds, okay? And this was actually a bright pink, I was told. But it see how here it has this filter it applies. It applied this red filter because it recognized that and applies this red, but also in her skin tones and in her hair, okay? So it goes from this brown brunette, and when it applies this filter over the top, and it kind of gives all of it a red, okay? Now, if you do one with the colorization, let's go over here and let's get one that's already colorized. And uh, this one, you see, you know, the colors, this is more of the realistic colors. This was her favorite color. And so she, <laughs> she wore this color any, any opportunity she got. So this looks kind of like the one we had last time. So even though it had the original colors of the outfit, uh, it put it back to that. It actually filtered out, you know, the pink and turned it into the white with the red, the way it was. Now, some of the, the facial tones, you know, around the mouth, see how this one, it washed it out when I uploaded it, washed it into a blue. This is a, a nice, pretty red in the colorization, so it got prettier, you know, in the face, uh, the eyes, the hair. It kind of blends together better like this. So if I had to pick one, to, to kind of put up. I like this, which is kind of a hybrid. Uh, this one, you know, cleaned up the cracks in the pictures and stuff like that when they did this. Um, this is kind of not quite as good. This is much better. So each one, each photo you upload 
is going to have its own pros and cons. I don't think that, you know, in, you can't say that, you know, it's always going to be good or it's always going to be bad. Uh, it's going to be this hybrid. But like I said, you can take a totally black and white photo and just make it pop off the screen. Nothing more than just simply dragging and dropping it onto the page. So we'll do one last one, you know, before we go. And so this is a black and white photo, pure black and white. And you can tell by the cut edges, kind of the time frame. And so, you know, here it is. And there it is with color. Automagically. This is almost like the sample photo that they showed us at the beginning. They had all the, the people sitting there in a family uh, picture. Look at that. That is just a real gorgeous. You see the grass. You see the sidewalk. It almost looks like, you know, if you were to trim it in here and make it digital, it could almost be uh, a modern photo. Uh, it really does a good job of taking something that's just black and white in this case with like a blue from you know where they processed it and the you know and the oh, I can't the developer for the film look at that that is just so pretty uh, and it's free yeah you get if you have a subscription you get unlimited videos to convert from you know black and white to color so you can just go through there and you know your old photos the subscription alone, I mean, you can almost justify a subscription just based on the colorization. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you think other people be interested in this or might take advantage at least of the five or so free ones that you get, uh, you might point them towards this too. Uh, there's some other on the internet that claim to be free. Most all of them have this, hey, you've done one. You either get this big fat watermark across it for, quote, free. You can do it for free. You just can't have anything you can use. <laughs> or uh, they want you to pay a price. And in the end, uh, if you subscribe to MyHeritage, not only do you get the colorizer, but you also get you know the tools for the family trees. Uh, like we were talking about, the consistency checker is, doesn't have a limit on the number of people. You get, of course, your DNA kits, your DNA matches, your discoveries, your research. Uh, you also get the, the DNA tools where you get to you know, uh, check and do the auto clustering. Uh, it's actually included. So instead of having to go to Genetic Affairs and do an auto cluster, since they don't do my heritage, all of the people in my heritage, you want to get the auto clusters for them. Well, it comes as a base part. And it's the exact same one. Uh, it's done by, you know, right here, uh, Everett John Blum. Uh, he's the, the author, you know, of Genetic Affairs. This is, you know, his code. It's the exact same thing that, you know, you do before. And you generate it right there with the MyHeritage information. And, of course, it's got the other tools as well that you can use, the chromosome browser and the ethnicity map. So uh, you get some other stuff along with your DNA matches, ethnicity estimates, things like that that, you know, just additional things that you can get if you have a subscription. So my heritage is making a serious play uh, to compete with uh, Ancestry on genealogy. Now, I don't know that they're quite on that, you know, same pedestal. Uh, Ancestry's got such a head start, but they're, you know, they're adding a lot of stuff recently and uh, they're coming along pretty good so this is going to be something interesting to watch i have just a gut feeling that my heritage has some things coming uh, around the corner who knows maybe they'll be announcing them at roots tech uh, but this i'm telling you the colorizer is a nice tool and i'll probably look at some of my photos that i want to uh, change and uh, see what all it does for them and hopefully i'll get a few good ones out of it and if I can get a dozen or so good, you know, old black and white photos turned into something nice, um, I'll be glad I have that subscription. I mean, it's really, look at this. I Just <laughs> before I go, just just look at that. that. That really is amazing. And all it takes on our part is simply drag it in there and drop it and done. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, why not? <laughs> Doesn't cost anything. Click the bell notification. You'll know when the next one comes out. Have a great weekend, all. Uh, thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you again soon.